Please read the instructions before viewing the installation tutorial. This is the installation instructions for a single controller. These are the installation instructions for both controllers. Now let's look at how to install it. First open the hood of the car, test whether the product can light up normally. Now we have to distinguish lights to a left and right. L stands for left and R stand for right. Then we take out a V-shaped iron in the box. Focus on the two small holes at the top of the light. Loosen the light so you can adjust the angle later. Next, we need to find the bottom of the light. There's a recessed area here. We're gonna put the bottom of the light. Get stuck as far as you can into it. Then rotate the bottom of the light. Set the angle width parallel to the car. Next, take out a V-shaped tire. Just tighten the top of the light. Next, we disassemble the inner shell of the door, then use a screwdriver to remove the rear view mirror. This is where you unplug the rear view mirror. No to rear view mirror box for each model. The location might be different. Depending on the model, we have a choice. Remove the casing on the back of the rear view mirror, or remove the glass from the rear view mirror. Then find the right place to punch a hole. Diagonal punch pattern will be larger. Next, thread the product through the rear view mirror. Then we put the mirrors back on. Next, measure the normal wire. The two lines of a lamp need to be connected to the output line of the controller. The yellow lines are connected to the positive lines that turn left and right. Here will be the positive and negative terminals of the product are connected with the positive and negative electrodes of a central controller. Next, insert a rear view mirror circuit back in. Finally, put the door casing back on. You can adjust the angle of the light here. Adjust the angle before you put it in. The effect after installation.